today we're going garage sale. Now these are some of the best garage sales around usually during the, you know, this time of year. I usually find a lot of stuff. The neighborhood these garage sales are in are literally a one minute drive away from where I live. We're at our first stop. Okay, so first off, there was a pair of Hey Dudes sitting right next to the boots and the vans <laughs> that I ended up picking up. I didn't realize the camera didn't pick them up, but I did pick those up for $5. I was going to pick up the Nike Air Forces, but they're $25, so I decided not to do that. These I was going to pick up because they looked vintage, but at the same time, I couldn't find any uh, sold comps on them, so... I decided to just go with the Hey Dudes. Got these Hey Dudes. Thanks. Yep. Have a good one. When I go garage sailing, I look for mainly clothing and anything that kind of like pops out that I know is worth good money. Um, I don't really try to waste my time looking up too much stuff. There's two things of golf clubs in here. Let's see how much they want for these. Once I seen what these were, I had no intention really of buying them. But she honestly gave me an offer I couldn't refuse. She, she, to, she told me I could take both sets for twenty dollars. So and all the golf clubs on the ground. So I definitely took that deal. How much are the jeans? And then as I made my way around okay. the corner, I seen she had a table full of jeans, which I actually love selling jeans. And they were mostly Levi's, and they were mostly five six nine Levi's. I was kind of excited, and then I was kind of sad because half of them had defects. I did end up picking up about four pair of 569 Levi's though. They were mostly dark wash. Picked up a pair of Denali uh, travel pants, which actually sell pretty well. I didn't actually pick this drill up, but if you see these hyper tough drills and they have the charger with them, pick them up because you can sell them for 30, 35 bucks easy, especially if you're only paying like five bucks. I'm kind of trying to like do the little, you know, drive-by situation where you drive by the garage sale and kind of look at it before you pull in. I'm sure, you know, I honestly myself would hate that if somebody did that, pass by and just keep on driving. Like basically saying that your garage sale is not good enough for me. Not what I'm trying to say. I'm just trying to make sure that I pull up to a garage sale. It looks like it has stuff that I would actually want. How much for the rock for Two dollars. Two dollars? Probably worn once or twice. I'll take it. Yeah. <laughs> this guy was definitely an IZOT enthusiast. Every pair of shorts on this table was izod there was a couple different ones there was like a columbia there was like a wrangler or something like that but most of them were izod i was gonna make a deal too on them and get a bunch of them lot them together like you know make two or three uh -huh. lots of, sh of shorts probably would have made some decent money but i'm gonna wait until saturday and see if i can get a better price on them because i think that's the last day of the sales even the polos were mostly IZOD. There was a couple different ones in there. There was a Slozenger, and there was like a Greg Norman. I ended up picking up one of the Slozengers. Uh, it was actually really cool uh, looking with the like the thick stripes. And then this this is a nice uh, pullover jacket. I ended up picking up. Uh, there's not a lot on eBay, and there's not a lot sold. But when they do sell, they sell for decent money. So I decided to pick it up. I'm not going to lie, I thought this was a first aid kit walking up, but then I looked it up on eBay, found out it was a watch holder, not a first aid kit, and she gave me a really good deal on it. So uh, how much for the Invicta case? $3. Okay. What did you do? One, two, this is five. And I got these. How much you want for the shirts? Oh, the shirts were three each. Three each? Yeah. Okay, so I'll get, yeah, you I'll get that? that and these. I, I didn't know if most people even knew what it was. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> My husband loves the Invicta watches. <laughs> but the kids got them a different watch box, but I know that thing. Hey, there's just some cool ones out there. Oh like, gosh, they're yeah. huge, aren't Yeah, they? that's crazy. He's a big guy, which helps, but those suckers are huge. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, do I, uh, is it 11? Close enough. All right, so I ended up getting the Sunice, Sunis, whatever, uh, pullover. The Slozenger Polo, the shoes, and the Invicta watch case carrier. I also have this uh, P2 
PS4. I traded my uh, gaming PC for $250 plus the PS4 games and the controller. So that's why the PS4 is in there. All right, so we're actually gonna have to call it quits there because my phone is dying. So we're gonna call it quits there, but we will be back tomorrow garage selling again because there are so much more garage sales appreciate you guys watching uh we'll, like i said tomorrow tune in again we'll have another day of garage sales you guys have a great day it's a great day outside in my area i hope it is for you too but i'll see you on the next one later